Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. Let's go here and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting. And we're here with Scars Frontier Outpost, getting ready to work on our survival base. Our survival base will have one super awesome crafting and storage headquarters once we're done, because our crafting and storage tent, as you can see, is overflowing, and those chests have monsters hidden within them, and it's getting a little crazy. So we've outgrown that storage tent, and it's time to go underground. And I think that would be super awesome. But before we do that, we need to check Jelly's Rump because Cub Fan says he hit something in here. So let's actually just take a quick look here. So let's dive in here. And there it is. There it is. It's the creeper head. Oh, I've been waiting so long for this creeper head. Oh, I'm so excited. So we helped Cub by giving him the sword for the kind of uh, attacking of the, uh, the mobs or whatever for the farm. It had looting three, smite and all those beautiful things. Um, and also some name tags quite a bit of ago. So finally we got our creeper head. Oh, I'm so excited. Scar, thanks for helping out at the charge creeper farm by providing name tags to name the creepers. This creeper head came from a creeper simply named Logfellow's Henchman. So be careful with it. You never know what lengths the Logfellows will go to for profits. Oh, that's awesome. That is that is awesome, and especially that it's a creeper head with the, uh, you know, some uh, log fellow business attached to it. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, my friends, before we get to our crafting and storage headquarters, we got to check our store for profits and let's see how the stock is holding up. All right, and there it is. There's our shop store flying in. Let's actually have a decent landing this time. There we go. I love these wings, my friends, and look at this graceful land. How perfect was that? There we go, we're getting better at the wings. But let's actually, why do I have an egg? There we go, anyway, let's head into our shop here and let's check our profits. So, let's check over here and see what we got. So this is Silk Touch efficiency, so we're good on those, good on that. Um, we do need to lower the prices on some of the items. They're a little high, so we'll adjust those prices. And there we go, we've got some, what is this? Came from Mending Fortune, ooh, an efficiency five. All right. Oh. Hmm, do we, hmm, hmm, where did our silk touch go? Anyway, um, there we go, and it looks like we are good over there, and these are like the worst selling of all, just a standard work pick. It's uh, five diamonds, I might move that down to like four. Um, so let's jump over to here, and let's see what we got in this box. Oh, ho, ho, there we go, ooh, almost 50 diamonds, there we go. Looking good, looking good. It Hmm, did somebody pay with cooked fish? I feel like that's something a lug fellow would do. Hmm, I'm not sure what's going on over here. Uh, that was three diamonds for efficiency I'm breaking. Um, yeah, that seems that's a reasonable price. Uh, okay, that's good, that's good, and oh, troll ho, nobody ever buys troll ho. Well, it is 64 diamonds after all. Haha, <laughs> it's just a troll um, tool. Anyway, um, oh, sweet, there we go. Awesome. Wow, look at our profits. 65 diamonds. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Oh, there we go. And let's check our orders, see if any special orders. All right, no special orders. So I'm just going to take one second here, adjust some prices, and I'll be right back. And welcome back. We've got our prices adjusted and ready to go. I lowered the price on some of the shovels and the axes. So I got that all set up and ready to go, my friends. And at the end of the episode, we will definitely go and restock the shells. Because like I said, they're getting a little barren in there. And man, we made some great profits off of those tools. So you know what? The, the shop's actually turning around pretty good. So let's fly away, my friends. Let's get some elevation here and head back to the Skaz Frontier Outpost. All right, we're coming in for a landing here. And doesn't the tents look really cool? Like, look at the tents from up there. Oh, I think that looks really cool. So let's fly in here, and these things are so amazing, aren't they? Like, man, Mojang, like you did, oh, oh my gosh, that, oh my gosh, that's gonna haunt you in your dreams. And welcome back, and it's time to get working. So in our last episode of building our survival base, we built our minecart station where we got everything all arranged and ready to go. So I want to take the theme that we created in here and carry it throughout our entire survival base. So that's where we're going to work down here. So this is kind of our pit 
for our actual infrastructure for the build. So let's get started. So I'm going to start right here. So I'm going to start bringing these blocks inward. And you might be wondering what we're doing here. This doesn't look much like a storage room. Well, my friends, we're building kind of the basic design to start with here, just kind of getting the basics down. And this is our minecart track. Now, I want to create a bit of a theme down here, and that is kind of an industry storage stuff along those lines. And it all stems from the fact that the Skaws who settled over here are starting to move their operation underground. Now they hit it big with mining and lumber and trading. And uh, this is their storage room. And to move their materials to and fro, they have these minecart tracks built up in here. So eventually we'll have like another bridge going out this way and that will have minecarts on it and a locomotive pulling in with wood. And then this little uh, one will go this way and that'll go more into the mines. So it's just a whole cool little uh, collection of different designs, which I think you guys will really like. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, see these blocks around here? So this is kind of where everything kind of starts. So place down a block like that. There we go, so we got that down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start bringing these guys upwards like this. So I just wanna build like one section of this design and then we can kind of use it as a template to move forward with the entire design. So I'll move this like that, looking good. And then I'm gonna take this one right here. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna bring this up nine blocks. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, probably move it up to eight, eight or nine. I think I'll leave it at eight for now. I think that's good just to start with. It doesn't have to be scientific at all. Just wanna get that up in the air. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, as you can see, we've got that arranged. So then I'm gonna put this guy on top like that. And then I think I'm gonna move this up one more level. I'm gonna swap over here and I'm gonna use this hardened clay as scaffolding because I'm out of dirt. There we go, put that along there like that and bring this over here like that. Cut that on top, boom da bam, like a so. There we go, okay. Okay, I'm liking this so far. Um, so I'm gonna move these guys up once again. So I'm gonna move another row of our oak on the bottoms here. I know we're using a lot of oak for this particular build. Um, there we go. So we're gonna have to make another trip to the lung fellows or hopefully not So I'm gonna go two blocks above this section right there. There we go jump back on our scaffolding Grab this out and start bringing this like that. There we go looking good I'm just gonna sample that real quick bring those guys on top. So as you can see there we go I'm, I'm liking this so far. I am liking this. So now what we're gonna do is take these guys once again Let's move these guys up one more level like that and then cut these guys out there like that looking good looking good and then bring this one more time like that. And then I'm going to need a sneaky block. I wish I had some scaffolding on me, some proper scaffolding. There we go. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. So let's go back down here and just kind of see our handiwork. Okay, I'm liking that design. See how that kind of goes up there like that? I like that. All right, so let's actually make one section of our chest. So let's dig down a little bit. There we go, looking good. And then right here, let me sample that one more time. I'm going to run this like that. There we go, that looks great. That looks actually pretty good. Okay, so let's grab out our chest. So we need two types of chests. We need our trap chest. There's our trap chest. And then this is, actually let's reverse this. Now the reason I'm gonna do that is this is our standard chest, which is cheaper. So I'm gonna do two sections of those, and then I'm gonna do one section of trap chest. So doing the trap chest in the center just kind of saves on cost instead of doing two sets of trap. All right, wonderful. And then of course, you guessed it, we're gonna do one more layer above this. So bring these guys upwards like that, looking good. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out our dark oak just as a contrast color. So I think this will look pretty cool. And then we'll loop this across here like that. Looking good, my friends, looking good. And now back here, once again, we're going to, hmm, I like it, but I wonder if I don't want this spaced out by two like this. Hmm, not sure, my friends, I'm not sure. We could go up one more level, like we could go up to three with these um, particular design, but I'm actually fairly happy. Let me let me try something. Let me just test something out. All right, so I decided after a little bit of testing, yes, we are going to bring this up one more layer like this, and this will just add capacity, and that's kind of the, the main aspect of what we're trying to accomplish is add a ton of capacity to our storage room. There we go, looking good. So we have an entire section built right there, and I have no parkour skill abilities. There we go. So then we're gonna take these guys and then we're gonna run these back here. And then we're gonna sneak back here and just give itself one more block. And then we're gonna give ourselves a trap chest like so. And we're definitely gonna need some more of these. Definitely gonna need some more chests at some point. So as you can see, look at how much capacity we're starting to build up. And then let's jump up here and we're gonna add an additional row like this. Now you can do it either way. So you can kind of swoop them across so they have these ends like that. 
or just go straight across um, with your stairs. So see how it doesn't have that little extra little lip right there. You can decide whichever one you guys like best. Um, but I like that. That is definitely turning out fairly well. So let's grab some scaffolding and let's go upwards once again. There we go. And see this little section right about here. Let's kind of, let's figure this out. So we have this section right here. So these are two wide chests going across. Let's do one more row. Let's do one more row. Let's get a little crazy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our trapped in the center and then two on either side. Now, the reason I'm going to do this is that sometimes it's good to actually have one chest that's a small, you know, not the double wide chest, but the single wide, um, just so you can kind of store the little things in a box. Like say you have a bunch of mushrooms or a certain kind of the uh, leaves. So if you just put, you know, your just your oak leaves in one box, just a little easier to kind of store it sometimes. Um, there we go. And let's go back down like so. Look at that, my friend. That is starting to turn out pretty cool. I like that. Um, the only thing I would like to change, and you guys are going to hate me for this, but we might change one aspect of this. So why don't we jump up here a little bit, and I'm going to push this back one more block. All right, there we go. So we're going to push these back one more block. We're going to use these as scaffolding, so those are temporary blocks. And then this will just give it more depth. That's kind of the main challenge here, is just try to add an interesting shapes and sizes to it. And I think this will be definitely pretty good. So we're going to put this across here like that. And of course, we'll run something up in these gaps so it's not exposed. Um, so that'll look good. And then I think I'll take out just a little bit of you. And I'll put that across there like that. Scaffold up ever so slightly more. Give myself a little room right there. And then let's see. I'll give that one more click, one more click, and then bring this all the way across here like this. One more click. There we go. And then this little opening right here, let's, let's just fill this in like that. Cut you out and fill you in. There we go. Look at that, my friends. Oh, I'm absolutely loving that. Oh, that mm, that is a little too far. What do you guys think? I think that might be just one block too far. I was originally hoping that that would not be the case, but yeah. Well, what if we just took this layer off? What if this layer was gone and then this was replaced like that? Let's see. Let's see if we can connect something here. Come on. Let's see if we can connect something up there. If it can connect, that would be wonderful. Okay, I'm good with that. There we go. That's perfect. It'll be a little hard to reach that particular chest, but I think it'll be perfectly fine if maybe there was actually a block there. It'd probably be a lot easier. Yes, much easier. There we go. Looking good, my friends. So now what we're going to do is we're going to replicate that over here, over here, and you guessed it, along that entire side over there. So I'll oh, see you in just a minute. All right, and welcome back. And as you can see, we've got all of the modules assembled and ready to go. And the beauty of this whole design is how modular it is, how you can add as many or as few of these sections as you want. And it looks very cool, I think, you know, adding all these along here. And of course, the minecart track running in the center and eventually we'll have the minecart bridges and actual little minecarts around. I think that'll be really cool. Um, eventually, we need to work on our ceiling. But before we do that, let's work in our crafting zone. So as you can see, I've added a couple blocks here and there. Now, the reason was OBS crashed and I have to re kind of do and pre-record a bunch of segments of this video. So that's why some things are built, but I'll show you what I did. As you can see on the at the end here, right at the end of the track, I put down a block and a block, and then I put a gate and a gate over there and a gate in the center. And then of course, half slabs on top like that. And this is a buffer. So when the mine cart is pushed up against the end of the line, it doesn't go off the track. And as you can see, we have our little pattern built up right here. So as you can see, on the back here, it's just kind of one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then of course three of course there, and then filled it in with a stair, and then I didn't want to break that. But uh, yeah, things, man, things can be kind of difficult, and uh, there's not a lot you can do about it in life, can you? You know, you know, I'm not so much talking about OBS crashing and all the other issues I've had recording videos lately, but man, sometimes life can just throw a wrench into your plans. And it can be incredibly, incredibly frustrating. But I find, my friends, but I find at times when things are incredibly difficult uh, in your life or things like that, if you can get through it, if you can get through it, if you can muscle through it, I think I'm gonna replace these with spruce. I don't know if I like these as dark oak, but we'll see. Um, actually, wait. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I like those, but anyway, we'll work on it. Um, but like I was saying, like, you know, man, life can really throw a wrench in your plans and things of that nature. But you know what? If it's something you love, it's something you want to do. If it's something like that, if you can get through it, if you can muscle through it, man, things can really open up in life. I find that every time, you know, something terrible happens or if something, you know, really unpleasant or you're just having a really hard time getting something done. 
and you can get through it. You can get through it with your head still held up high. You just became just a little bit stronger than you were. Every time it feels like that happens, instead of just quitting and moving on to something else, I want to stick through. I'll re-record this for the three, third, fourth time in a row that OBS has crashed on me. Like, I'm not going to give up because I know you guys want videos. And I want to make videos and I got to make some videos because I'm going to be gone in a while. So there won't be a lot of videos. So these are my chance to make videos for you guys uh, because I have to have surgery. And it's like another little like wrench. It's just constantly throwing wrenches like life is just like a giant like, uh, I don't know, monkey wrench or something. I don't even know what a monkey wrench is. But anyway, um, you know, it's just ridiculous sometimes. But like I said, if you can get through it you can if you can you know move on that little like muscle in you that that is your like you know your I'm gonna try I'm not gonna give up muscle that just gets a little stronger every time you're just exercising it that's what I like to think about you know it's just getting a little stronger a little stronger here and there so every time you come up with a little challenge you're just a little stronger than you were I think we're moving along pretty good I like the change that we made I like having this particular style of uh, spruce instead of the dark oak I like to use the dark oak just as a contrast and I think that looks pretty good. See how much better that looks? I think that looks great. Um, but yeah, it's it's just a shame that, that life can always be a little crazy. But like I said, if you can just get through it sometimes. All right, looking good, my friends. I think that is excellent. Um, let me jump over here and we're just gonna move this across here like that. And now we're gonna grab out our materials for our ceiling. So we're just gonna grab out a couple little detail blocks here. Let's just grab out a few things. Let's grab out our little cobblestone walls and grab out some of these guys and some stairs, and do we have any more smooth stone? We might need to get some more smooth stone, but we'll see if we can make it through it with this. Um, and then we'll grab this like that, beautiful. There we go, awesome. There we go. So whenever things like in life, do we have any, yeah, we do. Um, like, I was, like I was saying, um, when things hit you in life, you know, like awful, awful things, um, and you know, you, you get through them. And like I said, you get a little stronger each time that happens, at least I try to make it so I do. And I think that's a good way of looking at life is you're always trying to better yourself and trying to be better than you were the previous day. And I think that a good way of doing that, like I said, is when when tough times happen and, you know, you get through it, you get through it with your head up high. You didn't give up every time you don't give up when life throws that monkey wrench. I still don't know what a monkey wrench is um, at you. You you don't give up. You don't lay down. You just keep moving. Um, there we go. I think that looks good. So that is the basic design for that. That I think that is going to look excellent. Um, and then we're going to add our stone. So this is kind of the stone ceiling that makes up the design, which I think will look really, really cool once we kind of get a little further along. Um, there we go. Looking good. And I kind of find it like each time in like with my health and stuff, every time there's something, something jumps out at you, something happens to you. I always try to use that, always try to use that, evaluate and figure out how I can be better, how I could prevent stuff like that, how I can, you know, be stronger the next time something like that happens, you know, take it like when I had I don't know, anaphylactic reaction or getting over like a surgery, recoveries, things like that. How can I make it if this happens again better? How can I, you know, be a little bit stronger next time to not let that get me down as much. Um, at least that's how I always work. I always trying to evaluate and sometimes that can be an issue like constantly evaluating and trying to, you know, make things better. Sometimes that can just get a little irritating, but um, that's just at least how I work. Always trying to figure out how I can do something better the next time. Um, but when I, I, I sometimes will get super complacent. So like if I'm not actively doing that, like remembering to do that, then I'm going to get incredibly complacent and I'm just going to stick with my ways. So it's like I have to actively always remember to figure out, OK, this happened. How did it work? Did it work? Did it not work? And how can we do it better next time? Um, or if I don't do that, if I don't actively think that way, I will be the most complacent person you've ever known. Like I will just be as a happy little camper doing my own little thing over here um, and not changing or, or, you know, evolving in any way. So I always got to make sure I'm, I'm like actively thinking that way. So that's always important. Like you can always have that mentality, but you need to make sure you're actively thinking in that manner. Um, like how can things be better? How can we, you know, change, make things good? Um, so yeah, you got to make sure you're actively in that mindset. That's important when you are trying to do, you know, like a mindful, like evaluation of life or something along those lines, got to be actively, um, doing it. you like, you can't just, you know, just doesn't automatically happen, at least for me. Um, so I'm gonna put that block right there, cut that piece in, jump over here, add these pieces along there. 
And let me see, let me grab up this cobblestone wall, put that one right there. And as you can see, we're just kind of mixing in all sorts of cool little materials and details and different things like that. I do need some more smooth stone. We are totally out. And uh, Isco is going to kill me for this, but we're going to put a little die right back here. Just as like a little extra material, just so not every block is, you know, the same stone or something along those lines. I think this will help kind of distinguish this particular column as something a little different than the rest. There we go. Looking good, my friends. Looking good. And I'm pretty happy with this. Now, the question is, how are we going to do our roof? for our workshop room. Um, that's a room that I feel like we can constantly change um, and you know make better. I think it's a really basic start, as you can see, just some basic systems in there um, for your survival world. But I think like eventually we can make that pretty cool. Um, let's jump over here and just add just a couple extra blocks. And I'm thinking just back here, I just wanna put just a smidge bit of andesite like we did over there. I think just adding that just really does help kind of distinguish that section over there. Awesome. All right, my friends, let me finish this area, get some smooth stone, and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. And we now have a completed storage and crafting headquarters here in our new survival base. As you can see, I've got a temporary lighting solution. Uh, eventually, we're going to replace these lights with the actual item that is in all of these chests. So say we just put like a log right here, and these are all of the different logs. We put a plank right here. These are all of our different planks. And this might be our stone or just our cobble. So these are all cobble and then cobble stairs, cobble this. So yeah, I think that'll be a really good organization that we can do it up there. You know, one corresponding to there, one corresponding down below. And I think that'll be a really good solution. And then of course down in here. Now there are some little see-through passages, but eventually once this all gets finished up, all these little areas that you can see through will eventually be covered up like those ones through there. We'll get that all filled in. And look at this, I think this came out really cool. As you can see, I just did one of the stone ceilings um, again once there, and yeah, I think this came out really cool. We have chests on either end, we have all of our crafting needs in this, and I think it'll be super awesome. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed our super awesome crafting and storage video today. And if you did, definitely give me some feedback in the comments. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the videos are rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later.